invention of ancient flamethrowers culminated in the elaborate designs of the Byzantines. This fire siphon of the 7th century AD used a large reservoir of liquid naphtha, or Greek fire. As this Renaissance manuscript illustrates, Greek fire was deployed as a dangerous weapon at sea. The modern equivalent today would be napalm. We imagine that machines which could project fire were an innovation of the 20th century. Yet it's evident that for thousands of years, flamethrowers have been used in battle. These reconstructed Byzantine flamethrowers are examples of a simple but lethal weapon. This model has been built to see if ancient flamethrowers really could have worked. What I'm holding here is a hypothetical reconstruction of a Byzantine flamethrowing weapon. We know that the Greeks had Greek fire, so it's not unreasonable to assume that there may have been smaller versions, such as this used by uh, maybe artillery troops. When many flamethrowers were used by an advancing army on the enemy, the effect must have been truly terrifying. The operational system of this is actually a simple siphon pump. As the piston is pumped backwards and forwards, the flammable fuel is ejected from the nozzle at the front and it's ignited by a small flame. The modern flamethrowers are based on a similar principle, similar flammable material, but theirs was a continuing pressure system. This simply works on a push stroke. The ancient Greeks passed their invention of early flamethrowers on to the Byzantines, who developed them further. The siphon technology used by Byzantine engineers was certainly known to ancient Greek scholars working in Alexandria, Egypt, hundreds of years earlier. One can only imagine how their ancient flamethrowers would have been used on the battlefield over a thousand years ago. What is certain is that it would have been a devastating weapon. It is an example of warfare technology which was not invented in modern times, but reinvented.